So now that we have uh, the plates uh, assembled and, and the belt still uh, loose, what we are going to do is to tension, to apply some tension to the belt. There is one tensor here. And just in the back, there is one tensor here that can move back and forth. And there is a third tensor here. So you will need some pliers that can go into the into the body and then you lock the nut and you apply some tension and then you lock the the screw. We do the same here. So you have plenty of space actually in the top plate. To do this, you don't need to tension it excessively so far because we can adjust it later. Okay, and the last one now we see that is uh, the belt has been it's much more tense. Um, and then with this one, I recommend to use it uh, the last one. So you can see maybe here that is tensioning and the same. You tighten the nut. Now we have the, the belt uh, with some tension, but it should, if you can see here, it's better not to have it uh, super tense. So now we are going to connect the battery with the transmitter on. So you can see you can see that the servo rotates but the arms are still loose. That's because the set screw in the pulleys are not tightened. So this is because we want to know where the servo uh, mid position is which is um, now and then what we do is we find out a uh, way I mean a place where to where access the set screw there are two set screws and there are plenty of areas where to access to them you can you need only to set uh, to the tighten one set screw first then you switch off, you rotate the arms and you set, you tighten the second set screw. So now we have this in the set, in one of the set screws. We put the arms as vertical as we, we know. So for example, I always take as a reference the screws of the arm connector so that they stay vertical because then we will adjust individually every motor so now we have the first arm fixed and we go to the second one in this case we have to access through here and we do the same we take as a reference these screws, for example, and we put them as vertical as possible. And we tighten the set screw. So now we have both arms already locked. Now we switch off the battery, and now we can rotate. until we find the other set screw, for example, and we tighten it, and the same in the other side. That's the tighten actually one, so we can rotate and tighten the second one. That's it.